الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد this is an invitation for a thinking people for people who want to go beyond the headlines for people who can read beyond the common script that Islam is responsible for terror or that Islam is the root of evil because this is the paradigm that's being pushed all over the world but especially in the West and it affects us tremendously as Muslim minorities but how does this affect us all as communities as a world community Muslim and non-Muslim we have to ask ourselves some questions while as Muslims we do realize we have extremist elements in the community no doubt there is a group called Al-Shabaab there is a group called Al-Qaeda Al there is uh, ISIL does exist. These are real extremists with real deviant ideologies. And this is the point. They've deviated from the Islamic norm. They've deviated from the community of Muslims and adopted ideologies which have more in common, have more commonality with some of the components of Hitler's belief and others than they do with Islam. No matter what the so-called experts, people like Morton Storm, declare with their limited knowledge of Islam, which they, an individual like this, who was on Fox News and has his book promoted, by writers from CNN or they helped him write the book that individuals like this because we know these individuals personally who never really studied Islam but had great adventures around the world and got involved with those deviant ideologies but at the same time what they're not an authority on Islam so regardless of what the headline the headlines tell us and what's being articulated and pumped out and propagated about Islam we have to ask ourselves all of these happenings the 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 French the France attacks the knife wielding uh, British guy at Leighton Stone Station or what have you the attack in California, all of these, hap these events and these actors or people involved in these events, we have to question this narrative a bit. We have to sit back because as a Muslim community, we're shocked. But even as non-Muslims, people who are non-Muslims should reflect. Is this, is there something, is there a greater picture here to take away our rights? To demonize one group and cause the infighting so others can profit. So that security and weaponry and war can become more profitable at the expense of human beings. And at the agenda of a greater of greater and bigger organizations and corporations and others who are behind the scenes pushing the buttons I'm not a conspiracy theorist but some of these recent events have called many cause caused us to as thinking people to question and because these events directly affect all of us, Muslim and non-Muslim, and our relationships with one another, especially as minorities in Muslim societies, and minority non-Muslims in Muslim societies. This affects all of us. So we have to ask, who's to gain from the mishap? 
who is a part of this these things are these real events and can we attribute this to Islam I invite you to look deeper I invite you to look we hear all kind of stories with the recent events in California the media is allowed the next day on the crime scene to just trample through pictures videos here's what's going on all oh, they were like this here's what they were eating here's what their baby slept here you know it's a media circus and who's to who's to gain who gains from this likewise the p perpetrators of the attack allegedly or apparently or supposedly were tweeting about this during the attack we have different reports that they were dragged from their vehicles dead in handcuffs we hear all kind of things so we have to ask ourselves who's really responsible for the mishap so I invite those people who are thinking who will not be played into hatred and causing harm and discord so easily between the various communities to, to, to think and reflect and learn about what Islam really says learn about what the one point so and so billion Muslims really believe and especially regarding these issues you'll find that it, these people their ideology is over here and the Muslims are over here and anyone who's sincere will probably come to the same conclusion that I have come to that there's something someone else has a hand in these various attacks as well as the extremists a lot of the extremists are being played but something else is going on here that's a bigger picture and we hope that the Muslims in America do not become like the Japanese were when they were interned during World War II and we hope that ideologues ideologues like Donald Trump and others do not become the leaders of the country who sow even greater enmity and discord between the communities ostracizing the minorities whether they be black whether they be Muslim non-Jewish what have you that we hope to have a better future than this and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil anything I said that was correct from myself from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan